When you or your students finish your book, you might want to submit it to Seesaw to have your students turn it in or for you to be able to share it with your students. You can do this easily in Book Creator. Go ahead and tap on the My Books button in the top left corner of your screen. And below your book thumbnail, go ahead and tap on the Share icon. That's the square with the arrow coming out of it. Now if you're sharing with Seesaw, you have a couple of different options. One, you can export it as a PDF, or two, you can export it as a video. Let's try it both ways. So let's start with exporting it as a PDF by tapping on Export as PDF. You can choose if you want your pages to be one large page or two pages side by side. I'm going to go with single pages. When the sharing menu pop-up shows up, go ahead and look through the second row, which shows the apps that you can share a PDF with. Go ahead and tap on the Seesaw app. This is going to quickly export your book and turn it into a PDF. And if I'm a student submitting this book to my Seesaw class, I can tap on my name or my folder, go ahead and tap the green check mark in the top right corner, and my book will start uploading to Seesaw. Now depending on how long your book is, this process might be longer or shorter. And if it has a lot of videos or a lot of audio hotspots or audio files in it. When your book is finished uploading to Seesaw, you'll see a quick little green check mark letting you know that it's uploaded. Even though we uploaded that book as a PDF, which means that audio and video won't play in the book, if you have audio and video in your book, it does make the file size larger and that process might take longer. Let's take a look at how those books look in Seesaw. So here we are in Seesaw as a teacher. We'll go ahead and review those new posts to Seesaw. And we'll start with this one, which is our book uploaded as side-by-side -side pages. So I'm going to go ahead and approve that. And now when I tap on that book, it's going to load that book up and there is our book with side-by-side -side pages. When you are looking at them on the iPad, if we tap on that same book, it's going to download that book to this iPad. And this will be looking at the book as a student. And here we can see a slightly different view as the student than we saw as a teacher. So um, side by side pages in a PDF. And we can slide the book to the left, um, not turning the pages, but sliding it. So here we can see two more pages, and if we slide it over again, we can see the last page. Again, videos won't play in a PDF, and our audio hotspot um, does not work in a PDF either. So that symbol that was there before, the little speaker icon, is actually missing from our book here because it wouldn't work in a PDF. All right, so that is what our book would look like in Seesaw on an iPad. So here I am in Seesaw as a teacher, and I will take a look at our book here as full pages, single pages. So if I tap on that book, it's going to bring that book down from the Seesaw cloud to my laptop. And again, the size of the book and your Wi-Fi might affect how long this will take. All right, so there's my book. I can see it's single pages. So instead of turning pages, I just scroll up and down to see the entire book. Again, audio hotspots and videos will not play in a PDF. So our audio hotspot icon is actually missing from here because it won't work in a PDF and our video here won't play either. It just becomes a static picture 
in our book. So I'll go ahead and approve that. And let's take a look at how that looks for students on an iPad in Seesaw. So as a student, here is the post. I can tap on that book. Again, it's going to download the book from the Seesaw Cloud to my iPad. There's the book. Now on the iPad, to turn the pages again, we're going to slide to the left to go to each page. Again, our audio hotspot is missing because this is a PDF. And our video has become a static picture. You can also see here in flexible space that the size of the page, once it's changed to the PDF, has kind of changed around the spacing there for that word and has moved the E down to the next line. So it might be good to preview your work for the device that you think it might be used on and then maybe add a little bit more space to that graphic so that your letters don't get moved around like that. But that's how our book would look on an iPad for a student.